Good day to Fano. Hoping you're all having an awesome Sabbath today. Uh, Komorano to Okanungwa. Komamba's ten, mate. Um, and we're going to be discussing what I got out of my e-commerce course that I'm attending this week. In particular, uh, the different mahi that I got out of my workbook. And so we're getting super close to creating our own online store, to creating our own online website. Um, and so in particular, this week we went through three different things to help prepare us for creating our store. We went through um, product photos, product descriptions, and social proof. And so if I could just call it or maybe... Uh, um, two things that I got out of each point just because there was like heaps of different things that I got out of um, and if anyone's keen and wants to learn more just let me know like we just watched YouTube videos this week and so um, if you're wanting the links to the YouTube videos just hit me up and I'll, I'll post them up to you um, Loreda photo just oh no, photo taking photos um, the two biggest things that stood out to me is that one you have to have a white backdrop when you're taking photos um, and two is that lighting is essential and so if it's too bright um, your product will start showing flaws and inconsistencies that usually won't be picked up by the natural light. Um, and the second thing is that if it's too dark, then it's going to not show the product in the best way. And so too light, you want to get a sheet, put it over the curd, over the window, uh, just so that it can uh, provide some form of barrier to stop the light getting in. Um, and if it's too dark, then you want some kind of white surface, like a whiteboard or something that you can put behind the photo so that the light going past it can bounce off and then re-reflect back onto the product. So those are my two things from my product photos, product descriptions. Two things that stood out is that your product descriptions, you want to make the customer or help the customer to imagine themselves with the product. Because once they imagine themselves with it, then they're going to go at length to get it. And so using... Um, the right wording that best rolls with what your customer avatar likes to read um, and creating some kind of story um, that they vibe with and that they're wanting to get it. Um, the last was social proof and social proof is just like influences, it's just uh, reviews that people have said to say oh this is a cool product or testimonials or people that have brought it to say yep this is cool. Um, and so this part was a little bit hard just because like, we don't have any gears at the moment, me and my son. We've ordered some and we're waiting for them to come in, but we don't have anything at the moment. Um, but once they do come in at Tefano, if there is people that are living in Narawahi and, and in Hamilton that are wanting some free t-shirts, like if you've been following this journey and you're like, ooh, these t-shirts sound cool, I want to wear some or I want my kids to wear some, just let us know um, and we'll probably drop some off for you for free um, in exchange for a review, in exchange for if you don't mind um, when I create my website and you chuck up a review on your website on my website saying how cool it is or if you don't mind jumping on social media once we have some social media pages and saying yeah I bought these t-shirts yeah my sons or daughters or whatever are keen on them yeah they love them blah 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 blah, blah. you know just um, <laughs> look it up no way that those are my learnings for this week um, again just thank you everyone for the afi and the taitoko that we've been receiving like we've really appreciated it um, and whilst we're still like finding our steps and learning new things every day about what we want to do and where we want to go, um, know that we're taking steps in the right direction and hopefully we'll be ready to release our store soon. Alright, no reda. Hope you all have an awesome week. Kaki